the idea of Islamization way I call it. A wakeness of radical ideas that lived one and a thousand years ago plus. Yeah. Making people go back to the orthodox way and grow their beards and make their women cover and kind of brainwash the people. Making too many mosques everywhere and telling the people it's a way when you are ignorant you get more kids and think God will provide. And they tell them if you do birth control planning, that's again is God's will. Uh, so from 1982, we were 40 million. In 2020, we become almost 120 million. Yeah? Because people start to have more and more kids. And at the same time, the Christian, that's 15% of the Egyptians, start to compete now with the Muslims. If you're getting more kids, I'm getting more kids too. And create those groups like the Muslim Brotherhood, for example, established 1928 by intelligence. It will be a group that connect young people to sport and religious activities and onward till they became a big political agenda working underground in the countryside and in the poverty and so on. And so you see, too many mosques, by the way, most of them that make this ugly loud call at five, yeah. when you go to them, you'll find three people inside them. Yeah, but they told him, you have to do it in the speaker, you have to make everybody here. And now the people kind of, the religious people think, if I take that away, it means I'm not defending my religion. Mm. So that's why you get wake up at 5 a.m. Yeah. We did campaigns in tourism and say, please, for the mosques next to the hotels or the side, lower the volume. Right. They consider it insulting of religion. We tell them 1,400 years ago, there was no microphone. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's kind of insulting. Well, anyway, Egypt is changing, and hopefully that also will change in the near future. Mm -hmm. From here, you see the city, of course, expand and goes forever. There is a very old man that had been here for hundreds of years. 